Welcome to Fort Stockton, Texas and Hilltop RV Resort. Join me today as we do this campground review and tour of this little park. If you are new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe down below by hitting that red button and ring that notification bell for future videos. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And everybody, please hit that like button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video and this campground if you have stayed here or if you plan to stay here. I look forward to seeing what you have to say. So Fort Stockton and this campground are kind of the middle stopping point between New Mexico and San Antonio, depending on which way you're going east or west, and it breaks up a long driving day. So join me on this tour today and let me know what you think about this campground. This park is located just a couple of minutes off of I-10 and has very easy on and off access to the interstate. This park is more of a pass-through park and not a destination with no major attractions in the area. With that said, this is a very nice and clean park to stop at and rest for a few days, which is what we did. This park has a total of 47 sites that can handle any big rig. All sites are pull through and full hookup with 50, 30 amp service, water, and sewer. The check-in time for this park is 2 p.m. and the check-out time is 11 a.m. The staff here is amazing and a great pleasure to work with. They show how customer service should be done and I'm very happy to see that. We pay $30 per night for our stay with our Good Sam discount. Now, let's get on to the tour. So for the entrance of this park, you're gonna get off the interstate, you're gonna come down this service road, and what you're gonna look for is this RV entrance sign you see right here along this also blue painted uh, fencing here. And this is where you're gonna turn in at, and you're gonna go to the office that is right there directly in front of us. And of course you do hear interstate noise. I will say you will hear it when you're outside at this park, but you do not hear it when you're in a rig. At least we did not. So the roads here are very wide. You're not gonna have any trouble with that, but you're gonna pull up to this sign right here, right by the office. And then you will proceed to the registration office to check in. And if you are doing an after hours check in, like we did, you will come right here to this box that's hanging on the door, lift this up. And there's where you'll find your after hours check in information. So very easy to do, pretty straightforward. And right beside of the registration office is the swimming pool. Just open the gate, push to go in. They have some lounge chairs here for you to use. And then here you see the swimming pool. We did not use this while we were here overall. It looks fairly clean. I do see a little bit of dirt in there, but nothing too bad. And they also have this shaded patio area if you just want to come out and sit by the pool but not be in the sun, which I think that's really cool here in West Texas because it does get hot. And on the opposite side of the office of the pool is the sunset fire pit. So you can come here in the evening and watch sunsets, which are actually pretty spectacular at the park, one of the things it's known for. And that is actually in this area, but we will try to come back tonight and I will try to add that to the video if we get a good sunset in. And on the back side of the office, one thing I will show you too, is like these little donkeys and little uh, trinket figures and stuff they got up everywhere. I just think that's really cool. But on the back side of the office is the laundry room and this is a 24 hour laundry room. So you can come at any time during your stay if you need to do your laundry and do it. We did use this and it worked pretty well. So we will go in. And as you can see, the dryers here are $2 and the washers are $2 as well. So they've got three and three. And again, this is a small part, so pretty much not anything else needed. And up at the front of the park on the far back corner, you will find the restrooms. And this is also the shower houses. These are private. So we'll go into the men's here. And I do like how these are set up. So you got your sink, of course you got your toilet, but you also got your shower. And while you're in here, you've got the whole place to yourself. You can lock the door. And I just think that's a lot safer. Yeah, especially from the women's perspective, you know, again, they're going to have their own private shower restroom and everything. And I, and I do think for them, that's a whole lot safer. I know my wife likes that. And then just to the left of the restrooms, you have a trash can area. And there are there are a couple of these trash can areas throughout the park. And then here you kind of just got a little bit more sitting area and you have, you know, 
I guess it's just like a relaxation area. And over here, you actually have a puppy patch is what they call it. And I think this is a really cool amenity for the West Desert, you know, West Texas Desert. So they do try to keep grass in here for the dogs to be able to play with. It is a little bit of a smaller uh, dog park, but it's a dog park and it's nice that they do try to keep grass. And one of the things that I will show from the dog park here, if you look just beyond the sign right there, that is actually Fort Stockton. So you're about 10 minutes away from the town and about 10 minutes away from a super Walmart, which is very convenient. So here's our campsite. As you can see, we have the full hookups. We've got full power. That's a 30, it's a 50, 30, 20 amp service. We've got water sewer and good water pressure here around 45, 50 pounds. We did have to use uh, leveling blocks to keep our tires from being off of the ground, but not a big deal. I think that's more our rig than anything. And we'll continue to walk around here. You see a picnic table, plenty of room to park our car. And one of the things I will talk about here is the internet at the campground, which is really good. You get about 20 meg down and 10 meg up on it, so that's really good for campground internet. And with Verizon here, you're getting 35 meg down, 20 meg up. AT&T is about 20 meg down and 8 meg up. And all that is without a booster, so that is a really good connection any way you want to go. You can pretty much do anything you want to with that. And with a TV antenna here, because you don't have cable, but you do get about 15 to 20 channels roughly so overall a really good setup really good location and everything seems to just work well here so if y'all are going to be in the fort stockton area and you need a campground to stay at we highly recommend this campground we really enjoyed our stay here thank you all so much for watching today bye y'all